Brothers and sisters, welcome to the season of creation. We celebrate the season of creation from 1st of September till the 4th of October in memory of the document Laudato Si, Care for Creation. Today, we reflect on another passage from this document and we make our reflection. When we fail to acknowledge as part of reality the worth of a poor person, a human embryo, a person with disabilities, to offer just a few examples, it becomes difficult to hear the cry of nature itself. Everything is connected. Paragraph 117. Yes, everything is connected. Pope Francis makes this wonderful statement to let us remind ourselves that everything is connected. Things don't happen in isolation and we don't live in islands. We are interconnected beings, both human beings as well as the nature. The scientists tell us that human activity has increased so much that it has an adverse effect on the environment. While the Pope continues to stress that our negligence and failure to acknowledge the worth of the poor persons, a human embryo and the disabilities of the human beings are serious examples to know enough that we have to make strong and serious decisions in our life. We cannot neglect simple, humble, poor beings around us. The care of creation is not something that we do in isolation, but rather the whole nature, the whole universe, as it is connected, we must consider every aspect that includes the human beings as well and the needs of the disadvantaged people as Pope himself gives us few examples. In fact, this way of living in negligence of those who are disadvantaged, those who are in the periphery, is actually reflecting a poor judgment from us. The world suffers today because Undue importance is given to few and the vast majority is neglected. This includes the care of creation. What is most needed today is to recognize within us that care of creation means care for human beings as well. It's not just the nature that we talk about, but also our neighbor who is in need. How can we hear the silent cries of the nature when we cannot hear the cries of our neighbor who are crying out? But Pope also reminds us that if we keep neglecting the nature, if we keep neglecting the natural cries of neighbors and others, that includes the nature, we will experience more and more disasters that we may not be able to handle in the days to come. So we take into account today that when everything is connected, we must pay attention to the connection with each other, human beings, as well as the nature. And we must give a special thought to the examples that Pope Francis himself gives us, which are important examples, the poor people, a human embryo, and those people who are with disabilities, let our mind go out to them. On this day, I offer you three suggestions for your practical consideration. See if you can use LED lights. There is a lot of movement and promotion about it. It saves energy and it is good for us instead of CFL and other lightings. If you're buying toys for your children, See if you can find toys made from natural fibers. Try. Go makeup free for one week 
each month. This is my proposal for you today. God bless you.